Hey fellow Imagineers, we're coming at you with the 2800BH. Of the uh, entry door with the thin shade tinted window product to alleviate some of that bright light coming in the kids' beds. Uh, here's the opening of the package. It does come with the uh, insulation instructions. However, these are not uh, too intuitive for these Imagine windows. Um, the initial preparation directions are here. However, if you look at the door, we've placed some popsicle sticks in these snap points. These popsicle sticks will release the uh, snapping mechanisms that holds the window in. If you don't do these right, you'll probably spend an hour or two hours trying to get this window out. Next step is to tape the back of the window as you release those snaps so the windows do not fall out. We're going to take a quick break, release this window, and then do the install. Stand by. Okay, so this is the results of the uh, trim being removed from the Imagine 2800BH window. As you can tell, the popsicle sticks fit right into the snap bracket. And if you properly insert those and just move up and down side to side, it'll release those snaps nice and cleanly. Uh, you should be able to extract the, that bracket within just a few minutes after pulling it off. It's extremely easy. So once, once this gets out, I gotta do on the other side. You see this piece of glass in here, be careful. This glass will shatter and break. Um, but if you properly tape it, like we did on the back, you should have no problem removing that. So we're gonna remove that, and then we'll carry out the the rest of the install. Same way. As you can see, when we move, remove the window from this glass, the tape, you need to release the tape, and you're gonna pull the glass out. You'll see that it has a seal here, so it's not gonna fall out on its own. But it's gonna be delicate, take the glass out, take the seal off, that way you don't break it, the glass. Now that we got the glass removed, uh, we'll go ahead and just release the snap off the door and it'll come right out. You just gotta be careful. You don't wanna cut yourself on this fiberglass. And just release from the other side, hold this. And you can see the, the trim, this glue on the trim. Once you release that, we'll clean the door up with the new window in. Hey guys, so I've taken the window out and I put it back together just to give you an idea or a visual of what it looks like inside the door so you know what the, the purpose of these popsicle sticks are. Uh, but as you see, when you put the popsicle stick in here and you just wedge it in there, you can see that the popsicle stick, when you push up or down, it's going to release these clips. So the value of these popsicle sticks allows you to pull these this frame apart without breaking these clips and it causing damage to your door. So again, put the popsicle stick in, move up or down, and you're set to go. All right. So you'll do this throughout all the all these little pinch points within the frame. Okay, guys. So we're doing the the prepping of the new window, and you see you have the shade here. Now it's important that we're gonna install this shade upside down and we're gonna do that so that you give yourself some privacy when you're trying to get changed or you don't want people to see in. So if you extend this up, you can still get light in without exposing the privacy of your trailer. So we're gonna install this frame. There. We're gonna install and clip in here at the bottom. We're not going to pull it all the way up because we're going to do this install. We can, it'll allow us on the other side to adjust it once we install this. Right? Okay, so this is the glass component with the frame. We're going to put this into the door now that the door is all prepped and clean. Uh, notice that the seals are removed from the inside. The seals are clean from the outside. You want to make sure that those are clean. Have a handy dandy Trojan helper. And we're going to install the mirror right into the frame. Have your helper hold it in. Notice we've installed the blind upside down so that we can still have our privacy. Uh, so you're going to make sure that these are clipped in, the bottom and top. We're now going to install this up top. So 
so that it so this doesn't clip in this is expected for you to line up the the bolts to install your screws okay. all right we'll go ahead and pause here and we'll reconvene in a minute all right guys so we're completely installed all the uh, screws are screwed in pretty tight Make sure that seal's tight on the inside of the door. Make sure the seal's tight on the outside of the door. Uh, use your helper to help push in on the, on the corners while you're trying to install this. Um, this whole job should take you about 20 minutes, 25 minutes, depending on your, your help that you have. And again, we've installed the, the uh, shade upside down so that you can get the privacy inside your trailer and still get some light on the outside. All right, that's a wrap. If you have any questions, uh, drop me drop me a note and I'll respond and help you as best I can. Take care.